you're clearly very conscious of the relationship longer term because I can tell you right now, my friends and I discussed this about if you were to sell today, who would it be with? How would you choose? And almost every time it's if you've had a good experience as the buyer. Yes. Absolutely. I don't know how close these stats are these days, but there's a bit of a, the whole funnel thing. And they actually say 60% of people are totally unaware about their house, their property, whatever. Then they become educated. So 20% become aware, right? 17% eventually are looking for somebody to sell their property and only 3% are ready to buy. So, or in your case, sell. So what's funny is you're targeting the 97 and when they're ready to sell, you're a given. Whereas a lot of agents would be like, I'm going in for the sell, which is only 3% of the market. Mate, you are spot on. That, that, and that, that, this, is the, this is the secret sauce. If, if, you were, if one of you wanted to be in real estate, you work with the buyer, right? Because at some point they may have something to sell, right? Uh, what I quite often see is the scattergun approach. Jay, do you want to sell? You know, but what value have you given in the, in the short term? Nothing. You want to be able to be a trusted advisor. You want them to know you, like you, and trust you, right? And how you do that is by giving value. So essentially, you know, the time frame is, is that it takes seven touch points to get someone to trust you. Seven. So when quite often or not, when someone inquires on one of my properties, I don't often go straight in for the kill the first time. I, have a, I, I give them some information. I have a reason then to follow up. I have a reason then to give more value. And then maybe the sixth or seventh time, I'll then go in for the kill and say, hey, Jay, you know, would it be a crazy idea to get your place, you know, give an updated valuation on your place? You'll be like, oh, Ryan, you seem like a good bloke. Yeah, why not?